Hey guys, Cam here from 9to5Google and over the past few months Sony has been testing various concept software, offering up to Xperia owners as part of a limited public beta test. Now, one XDA developers member was able to port the home launcher that it's been testing with an aim to put it onto Marshmallow and released it as a downloadable APK which works on any Android device with Lollipop and best of all it doesn't require any routing or anything fancy you just have to download the APK and install it and then set it as your default home launcher I'll leave a link to it in the description box below now as third party launchers go the Xperia concept port dubbed X Marshmallow launcher is relatively light. Animations and transitions are really smooth and quick and because it's only a launcher it doesn't come with any of the bloat where you'd normally find on a phone's software. As default the launcher takes on its modern setup which is to say there's no app draw. Like Huawei's MUI software all the apps you have installed show on your home screens. To rearrange them you can drag and drop them anywhere. You can create folders too just by dragging icons on top of each other. Now uninstalling an app should be done by pressing and holding an app icon then releasing it. Once you've done that it shows like a little red circle with a cross inside. Now if you press this it gives you the option to delete the app but in my testing I wasn't actually able to uninstall anything that way. Instead I've had to press the I or the information icon to access the app settings. Now with all the apps taking up space on your home screen finding the one you want can be a challenge which is why there's a search option. In the modern version of this launcher there's a search icon placed where you'd normally find the app drawer icon and it enables you to search for any apps on your phone or search for apps on the Play Store. It can also give you a list of recommended apps if you have that option enabled in the settings. As with pretty much every launcher, pressing and holding anywhere on the home screen opens up the options to customize it. You can change wallpapers, add widgets or themes, or you can go into the launcher's settings. Now in the settings you'll find the ability to change the icon size, and choose between the classic and the modern home screen layouts. One has the traditional app drawer and the other doesn't. Saying that, the app drawer isn't the same as the stock Android UI or the Google Now Launcher one. When you open it up, it's full screen and it's a dark translucent overlay with no borders or lines. Apart from the apps, the only things on the screen are the back, home and multitasking virtual buttons on the bottom, as well as the search option on the top alongside the three dots drop down menu which you use to arrange the apps. Apart from that, there's really not much to the launcher. And if this is what's going to end up on Sony's future phones, I'll be pretty happy. It's unique and simple and customizable, but more importantly, it's really lightweight and not overbearing at all. It's fast and smooth and fluid. It's been really great. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on Twitter, you can find me on there. Leave your thoughts and comments down below and install it if you want to and let me know what you think. I'll see you again soon.